Hi everybody, welcome to another question of the week. And in this video, we're gonna solve question of the week number five. And the answer to this one is A. Okay, it's surprising that I've seen uh, many incorrect answers. Um, so the this all of the following are associated with a class two malagglusion except, right? And you have B, C, and D. Um, are associated with class 2 malocclusion and the exception is A, which is achondroplasia, um, which is, you could say, you, you, uh, you know, genetic dwarfism and that is associated usually with a class 3 or prognathic mandible, okay? But the one that's pituitary by ca caused by uh, low uh, growth hormone, pituitary dwarfism, that one is uh, associated usually with a class 2 malocclusion. OK, um, usually I give my students a little tip, which is most genetic or syndromes that are associated with a malocclusion it ends up being a class three, except these three pituitary dwarfism, cretinism and Pierre Robin syndrome. Now, of course, there are more, but that's just like a starting rule to kind of to help you memorize that most of them are class three, except these three. And then you could start adding more to them as you learn about them. So that's all. The answer is A. If you've answered correctly, like and subscribe, you have a chance to win our basic science course that's on Udemy uh, for free. So you get a free coupon for that. Um, and that's it. If you're interested in a consult to help you plan for your NDEB process for your AFK uh, exam and how to get through this, uh, let us know. Call us for a free consultation. Also, we have an NDEB uh, orientation event where you learn how to become a dentist in Canada, how the process works, how to apply, all that stuff. We'll answer all your questions. It's a free event online. And after a few weeks after that, we have an AFK orientation event on how to take the exam, how it works, what's the best ways to study, whether you're taking a course or not. So usually people register for both together. It's free, two free events. Um, I hope to see you there and that's all. I'll see you next time.